How are you guys doing today? Today I have another coding interview problem that I want to share with you guys. So, here's the problem. Write a function that detects if a list has duplicate values. So, the first thing we want to do is break down a problem. So, let's just say we have an array. Inside this array, we have six elements. We have one, two, three, three, four, and five. As you notice in this array, we have two repeating values three and three. How do we go about determining if an array has duplicate values? Well the first thing that may come to mind is to create a loop. A loop would iterate through each element within this array and we'll be able to take note of each element within this array. But we want to think about this a little bit deeper. And that brings me to nested loops. So when we're dealing with nested loops, well, nested loops in itself is just a loop inside of another loop. The first loop, when we're iterating through this array, would just take note of each element within the list. Whereas the second element would compare the current element with each element in the array. Once we have that second loop, inside of that second loop, we want to add an if condition that will check if the current element in the array is equal to another element in the array. And we also want to make sure that the elements that we are comparing against each other have a different position. And if those two things are satisfied, then a duplicate element exists within the list. So to make this a little bit more clear, let's start coding. All right. So the first thing we want to do, we want to create ourselves a function. Public static void check for duplicates. That's what we're going to name our function. Now inside this function, we also want to pass in a parameter. Now the parameter is just going to consist of the array list of integers. My array just like that. So what I want to do right now is to just write a comment that is pretty much going to resemble the elements that I showed you earlier in my presentation. All right, so let's just say we're checking this array right here. Let's just say this is the array that's passed into this array here. These are the elements that are contained here. So the first thing we want to do is create a for loop, which would go something like this. For int i equals 0, i is lesser than my array dot length i plus plus a basic loop as you can see here we're starting at position one which will be one and then from here we're just gonna iterate through each element within this array now as I said in the presentation I wanna add another loop and this for loop is going to be called a nested for loop is basically just a loop inside of another loop. Now, when we're starting this loop off, we actually want to start with i plus 1. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we don't want to check for any value. We, we don't want to go over any of the same values. So we want to start with the current position, and we want to add plus one. We don't want to iterate, we don't want to start it at zero because we don't want to count the same element. All right, so this is pretty much going to look similar to our previous loop, just except the starting point. At length j plus plus. Now inside this nested for loop, what we want to do is add an if conditional statement. 
So if the element at position i is equal to my array at position j, so right here what we're doing it so right right here what we're doing we're comparing the content of the element at position i as well as the content of the element at position j and we're trying to check and see if they are the same and we also want to make sure that i is not equal to j so right here what we're doing is just checking the current position of each of the elements so what i'm doing here is checking if an element at position i is equal to an element at position j and they are both at different positions then a duplicate exists so i just want to do a sys out and then just write a duplicate exist and that's pretty much it as far as the function goes now what I want to do next is go up to this main method and add an integer array alright so it's gonna look something like this I'm just gonna copy this paste it here, put a semicolon there, and now I want to call this function. Check for duplicate values and I'm passing in my array, which you can see here. Now if I run this, I should get this content printed to the console. Run it. A duplicate exists. Alright, so that's how you would go about finding if there are duplicates within the list. Another thing to take into account is that this function has two for loops, which means that the time complexity is equal to O of N squared. All right. Now, this time complexity of O of N squared is not the ideal time complexity. There's another way that you can actually reduce this time complexity to only have a linear time complexity. So, let's go back to the presentation. All right. So, how would you go about enhancing the function for better performance? This is what you would do. What you need to do is first of all consider these two loop structures. So we already have seen this loop here, which is a nested loop. As, and as I said before, it has a time complexity of n squared. Now, what you want to do is actually use a for loop. This for loop is going to have a time complexity of n, or a linear time complexity. So we want to use a for loop. That's one thing that we want to use in order to reduce that time complexity. Another thing that we want to use is a set. Now a set is an unordered collection of values that cannot have duplicates. It's different from an array because an array you're allowed to have duplicate elements within that array. But when it comes to a set, every element in a set must be unique. And what I want to do is just show you how you would create a collection of a set like this. You would have the name set. You have to specify the data type and set it equal to a new hash set. All right, so let's get back to the code and I'll show you how to do this. All right. So what I want to do is create another function static void 
check for duplicates. Let's just call this check for duplicates with set. Let's just call it that. Now we want to do the same thing. We just want to pass in the array. My array. Alright. Now, when we do this, the first thing that we need to do is create a set. Equals new asset. All right, this is going to take in integer, and then we will have to import this. All right, so this is what we want to do now. We want to create ourselves a for each loop. And basically what we want to do is this. We want to say if or for, we want to say for every integer x in my array we want to add an if conditional that states if my set dot add x equals false then I want to say I want to print out a duplicate exist and that is pretty much it so basically this is what I'm doing here I have my set. Now with this set, I'm adding a value. Now, as I said in my presentation, if I can go back to this real quick, the presentation pretty much states that every element within a set must be unique. So if you would if you try to enter in a duplicate value, it won't be allowed. You if you try to add a duplicate value, you're going to get a value of false. So this is what's happening here. My set dot add x. If this is equal to false, then this means that a duplicate value exists. So let's test this out. We're going to copy this, go back up to our main method, paste, pass in the array here. We're using the same array list. Now we're going to simply just run. The application. We're going to clear this out. Now we're just going to run this application with this new method that I've created. All right. So we run the application. A duplicate exists. We can also print out the actual duplicate value here to make this a little bit more clear. A duplicate exists. We save it, we run it again. That is the duplicate value. Three. The time complexity of this for each loop is O of n. Alright, so we've reached the end of the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video if you've learned something from this video also subscribe and until next time